Yeah. How's it going, Ryan? Hi Come there. On over. What's going on? Hi, yeah. What's up, man? Let's do it. Yeah. I brought gifts. Oh, I only brought two, what? though, so not everybody can have one. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's so awesome. Nice yes. Look at you. Oh. Ah, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Looks See, this good. is this is the way I like it, okay? Yeah. This is a professional coming in. Sue anti, Sue, Sue anti. anti. I have to be on TV later. So oh, I is that why? I had to dress up. Yeah, I didn't dress up for radio. Because it was just radio. <laughs> I didn't wear my best Star Wars t-shirt. Right. See, that would be, uh, uh, that would be kick-ass, though. Eddie did. <laughs> Ryan Stout in the house. He is going to be performing this weekend at the Madhouse Comedy Club right there at Horton Plaza. Tickets yeah, are hooray. available. Comedy. MadhouseComedyClub.com. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Yes. Yes. So Indeed. Immediately, I have to apologize because I know that because, you were... Because you don't know who I am. No, I do know who you are. I saw you on when, when you introduced me earlier, it sounded like, yeah, we've got this funny guy in here. <laughs> yeah. Like, like no sort of familiarity. No, you know you, who you okay. are. I saw you on Conan. Cool. No, you're on Chelsea lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I know, I know you're, big, you're big time, right? I, I get time. around okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not famous, <laughs> right. but I get around okay. Yeah, that's, nice. that's, there's nothing wrong with it's that. It's one of those things, like, I'll be on Chelsea lately, yeah. like, on a Monday, yeah. and I'll run into somebody after a show on a Thursday, and she'll be like, you're on Chelsea lately? I'm a huge fan of that show. I watch that show all the time. I've never seen you on there. <laughs> <laughs> like and I was like, really? You watch every night? She's I watch every night. Well, I was on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, you see her eyes kind of like glow over yeah. a little bit, and then she goes, oh, were you the guy in the suit? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing there in front of her wearing a suit. Yes. yes. <laughs> Awful people. Do you always rock yeah. the suit? Um, I try to. I mean, what happened was I started doing comedy when I was a teenager. Oh, wow. And uh, when I get on stage, it's not always the... Um, I, I could be a little mean and a little condescending and a little, uh, what? all sorts of things. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting that vibe from you. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's because we're hanging out talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up, I have to be a leader for a room full of drunks. Right. 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 So it's a different environment. Yeah. And so when I was like a teenager doing that, people were like, why is this nice young boy talking to us this way? <laughs> And then I started wearing a suit on stage, and everybody just started leaning back in their chairs going, well, clearly he knows what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a it's CEO high. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Something's going he, on here. He, yeah, he, he clearly thought this through. Right. He's dressing up for the show. But let the man make his point. Yeah. 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 Nice. No, I'm apologizing because what you walked into. Our girl Ashley is a, a strange bird. In, and, and apparently, and clearly, apparently yes. you walked in on her, and she was yeah, putting she's on deodorant. struggling with deodorant. Right. How many people have to struggle with deodorant? Well, I mean, daily not, activities, yeah. Ashley. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how many times in your life have you put on deodorant? And I come in, and it's a mess. <laughs> well, <laughs> imagine her brushing her teeth. Like that's a nightmare. Oh, man. Like I don't yeah. know. Do you have a Sonicare toothbrush? <laughs> put it in your mouth, then turn it off. <laughs> then turn it. Off. She's turning on the electric toothpaste. It's everywhere. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. But yeah, Ashley, for some reason, always has. Weird interactions whenever we have comedians in here, guy. and you walk in, she's putting on deodorant. Like, why didn't you do that at home? Well, no, I forgot to this morning, so I put it in my backpack. I was like, I'll put it on, you know. So you at remember, work. Like, like the idea of taking the right. deodorant and putting it in your backpack takes the same amount of time. Thank you, Thank you just Ryan. Putting it on. Thank you, Ryan. Maybe more. Well, yeah. I was running late, you know, <laughs> shocker. So, so I, I literally go to start putting the deodorant on in the well, he's, in well, the, Ryan's in there. No, no, right before okay. in the production yeah. studio. As he walks in, I'm lifting my shirt up. Oh, so I just, I yeah. just blurt out, "Hey, is it cool?" If, I don't even introduce myself. To this amazing comedian, <laughs> Ryan Sal. I just go, "Hey, is it cool if I put on deodorant in front of you?" <laughs> One of the greatest opening lines. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, how many Skippy, times have you heard that? Yeah. Without skipping a beat, Ryan's like, "Yep." Yeah, do and it. He just yeah. walks right by me. You're, and says, at, you're yeah. at work. Yeah. I think my exact words were, yeah, this is show business. <laughs> <laughs> We're on stage right now. Nice. Do whatever you need to do. So I go to start putting the deodorant on, miss my armpit, How and does it's that all happen? over my black shirt. Hmm. Like, what are you spraying? Right guard up in there? Like, yeah, what do you mean? She's just wielding it like a sword. <laughs> it everywhere. How do you miss an armpit? Like, it's not... Like, what it, well, that's one of my things, too. I feel like uh, if you're in the theater or if you're ever backstage at a comedy show, like, anything that happens is like, yeah, of course. Right, like, it makes we're, sense. We're backstage. Right. Yeah. I was a Bob Saget. He's powdering his balls backstage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just do it. So, I mean, you just get it done. That doesn't surprise you realize me. You realize you have to do the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 When is he supposed to powder his balls? Yeah. Uh, what, at the hotel? Right. Hello. It's all going to wear off in the limo ride. By the time he gets on stage, yeah. no no fresh balls. You yeah. put your powder in your backpack. Thank and you, you, Ryan Stout. And then you do it up Thank the you, Ryan Stout. Good stuff. Wow. So you started at a very young age doing comedy? Yeah. Was, How did your parents accept that? Were they cool with it? Or? Um, They were fine with it. I mean, they were always... Uh, 
these types of people who were like, uh, yeah, do whatever you want to do, but do it. Yeah. Like, don't don't say you're going to do it and then sit yeah. around. Don't have that. So it. when I was like, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian, they just shrugged and they were like, all right, whatever you think you're wow. going to do, do it. At what age is this? Um, I was, well, I moved out at 17 and I moved to San Francisco and started Yay. doing stand-up. 300 shows a year, every single night, Ooh, just sitting, in the house, sitting on stage. Good so job. then I call them home, and I'm like, yeah, we're doing this thing. And they're like, okay, it sounds like you're doing it. Good for you. Nice. And then when I'm like, I'm going to be on TV, they're like, really? <laughs> wow, you really did do it. <laughs> and then when I was like, uh, MTV just gave me a huge contract to host a bunch of shows, they were like, how huge a contract. <laughs> <laughs> um, like but, you could parlay this into an actual job? <laughs> right, right. Like, oh, really? you're, you're in show business like, now. huh? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I mean, they're big comedy nerds anyway. Oh, okay. They're just, uh, so I, the, and that was the irony of my career, that I started off as a teenager getting up in nightclubs. And then my first job with MTV... MTV's demographic is 14-year-old girls right. nice. who are not old enough to get into the adult comedy club. Right. So it did not help my comedy oh, career in any way at all. No. <laughs> just garbage. So all those spring break shows you were going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only it's time just it not helping. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> and that, so now you're 18. I'm guessing. Now, so now you, moved you have on. a full year under your belt. <laughs> are, you, are you a single guy, married? Um, you know, I was seeing this one girl for a while. She would... Uh, it didn't, she was weird. She would get really turned on, like, getting caught, having sex in public. You Whoa, know what I'm really? Oh, and uh, I I just got tired of catching her. I thought it was so uh, a little awkward. I'm really going through my head of, like, any jokes that I could actually tell on a morning radio show. I know, show. I know. Because I just want to make it clear to anybody listening. Stand-up comedy happens in an adult nightclub, in yes. a darkened bar. Right. Yes. For right, adults right. only. Right, right, right. Like, oh, it's the only passes. place in America where you can, like, sip booze and sit in the anonymity of a group and laugh at terrible, <laughs> awful things. Yeah. Yeah. And anytime I do morning radio or television, people are like, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How dare you? The FCC will we kill have, us. Yeah, we have, like, rules. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, stupid. Yeah. I wish we could talk to, like, normal people. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. It would be awesome. I always encourage people to get on YouTube and find my album on the internet and like have a taste before you come out oh just a yes. little like little. you would never go to a movie and go give me a movie yeah <laughs> i just love movies they're all the same right and it's like no no yeah i was hoping for a nice family film and we we thought black swan would be a good yeah. idea right, right. that yeah. sounded like that animals in it <laughs> we were upset yes. there was a ballerina right. you would think uh, no. and uh Dude. yeah and people do that with comedy all the time they come out and they're like well you're a comedian make me laugh and yeah. i'm like well, what do you like? Well, I like when a guy hits himself with pies. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, I'm wearing a nice suit, so I'm not going to hit myself no with pies. No pies tonight? Yeah, and then oh, they get this one. Wait, you're not going to do scathing political commentary? <laughs> I, I'm out of here. <laughs> Where's the props? Yeah, yeah it's off. Come on, Ryan. And the other thing I like to do on stage is I like to be very specific about, uh, I really want to attack any negative topic where you have like a negative emotional response okay but attack it from a very intellectual place oh like i like to find the the specific ironies in there like like of someone falling down the stairs oh, that is a logical God. straightforward Ryan. but here's the thing Ryan. see you're having a negative response Ryan, but but that's not fair because i didn't even say a woman falling down the that's stairs true. anybody falling that's down the stairs point. in that context yeah is ironic. It is. Oh. Fact. Too much. So it's a very intellectual, cerebral, like, stay yeah. with me on an intellectual level, everybody. Don't Love bail this. on me. Right, right. <laughs> and you can understand when you're 19 trying to do that on stage, and oh. people are going, I think this is mean. You, young man, you and, are. And you're going, no, it's a smart show, and people are going, you're... <laughs> You're a mean boy. <laughs> and then when you wear a suit and tie and you go, this is a smart show, they go, okay, fine. It's no, I'm buying smart it. Show. No, I'm, no, I'm buying I'll it. I'll take it. You gotta go see Ryan performing at the Madhouse Comedy Club. He's got uh, a couple of shows tonight and tomorrow night, 7.30, 9.45. Madhouse Comedy Club is right there at Horton Plaza. So you can do some at shopping. At the top of the mall. Yeah, yeah, you can do some shopping while you're yeah. you know, before the show or whatever. You can go to the food court. Yeah. yeah. You can, uh, you know, get your, get Don't do that. Come, come to the restaurant. They have a great restaurant. They I do. do a lot of comedy. Really good. Clubs. 
and a lot of comedy clubs. Like last week, I was at this club. Their menu is literally hot dogs from a microwave. Oh, and mm. popcorn. Ew. No. That's what you can get at that particular club. Wow. No. Whereas the Madhouse, they have a full kitchen. Yeah, and yeah. You can actually dine. They brought in food for us before. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Legit yeah. Steaks and like right? good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah, the, the best clubs have a good kitchen. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. is it weird? You're people? welcome. You're, I, mean, I, don't yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I felt like I needed to thank you for that. <laughs> now, is it weird people eating while you're doing jokes? Or um, is that... Usually people are done eating by okay, the time good. I get on stage. Okay, good. Um, it is a choking hazard. Yeah, yeah. you would think, right? <laughs> like whenever yeah. I'm at like a benefit or something like that, and they're like, okay, well, we're going to put you on, and then they're going to start serving the meals. I'm like, no, that's a terrible <laughs> order of events. <laughs> people, people should die in that yeah. circumstance. Yeah. The broccoli gets choked, you know, yeah. it's hot yeah. in there, and you're spitting all over the place. No, you don't want that. No. No. Uh, well, and oddly enough, I don't even like people like getting really drunk during my show. Yeah. Because then I'm like, you can't even pay attention anymore, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for a show, and right. now you're 90 minutes in, and you're just glassy eyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, do you? And then does that lead to heckling? Yeah, yeah. Do you deal with hecklers? Um, oddly enough, again, like. Just the way I am on stage, I don't get heckled a lot. But when I do, I will cut an end Nice. Yeah. Nice. I will be dead in the water. Yeah, yeah. shake a bit. Deservedly uh, so. Yeah. When, what, what I've kind of realized over the years is uh, as I've settled into being a stand up comic right. you know, for over a decade, right. you stand on stage and you realize. Oh, the audience wants me to like prove that I'm the alpha male by destroying this person. I'm going to really be an alpha male by doing this, and you just wave your finger and you point to them and you say they're gone. Yeah. Oh, oh, and somebody yeah. comes over and yeah. lifts them up and says, "You need to leave now." Ooh. And that amount of power, I think that is fantastic. Yes, that's yes. pretty. When nice. you get to just go, no, no, not them. Yeah. <laughs> the other one. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't oh, understand right. the heckler. I really don't. Like, who think they're part of the show? I just went to see Mike Tyson do his big one-man show. I heard about this. It was great. It was a great show. But people are, like, yelling stuff in the audience Why? to Mike Tyson. Right, and it's not even, like, a comedy show. No, it's a no. one-man show and It's very directed by Spike Lee. By Spike Lee. Yes. Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> and it's Mike Tyson. It's like, like going to the ballet and screaming at people. You right, can't. Pretty much. What are you doing? I don't right? get it. What are you hoping to get out of this? They, like, want to be part of the show, you know? Yeah, I, and I understand that at a comedy club where people are drinking. Yeah, it might But be. it is that thing that people... people People want attention for different reasons. Yes. Um, typically, bachelorette parties are. <laughs> yeah. they, they always think it's right. our special night. Yes. And I'm like, really? Because you walked into a building with my name on it. <laughs> yeah. you it's your special night? Maybe they would have put your name up there. Yeah. It's not your special night. You in lights, yeah. What uh, the hell? And then so sometimes it is just the dude where he's like, well, I have to assert my dominance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to prove that I'm the For funny my girl. guy. Right. And I'm like, you're you're not gonna win this battle. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm on stage in the lights, and I'm louder than you because I have this little tool in my hand. <laughs> and you think you're gonna win this battle? No. I could be a dullard and destroy you. <laughs> uh, I mean, some people some people heckle just because they're having a great time. Yeah. And they're like, this is a heckle. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It is a heckle. Like it ruins your rhythm. I had this one girl in Minneapolis. She wooed at every joke, oh, but she God. wooed at the setup and the punchline. Okay. Oh. Really? And it's just like everybody's just sitting around putting their hands in there, going, "What is she thinking?" <laughs> yes, be quiet. And I'm sitting there going, "I don't know. I can't really destroy her because oh. she's just being encouraging." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at the same heckle. time. So I, I told this girl, I was like, you understand these people dislike your energy right now. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying these other people, you have to handle it. In the beginning, you think anybody that interrupts is being negative. Right. And you start to realize, like, oh, I have to take these by a case-by-case -case basis. Yes, I can't really yeah. just attack everybody. Exactly. You'll always know, like, a really new comedian on stage because some dude will be like, some guy in the audience will just yell, Yeah! And the comedian will just like get flustered and lose oh, his totally. mind and just start yeah. <laughs> just yeah. laying into the guy. Oh, like, oh this yeah. is awkward. Like, Sorry, now. I yelled yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or like, just I, throw them off. I've seen that. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Totally. Well, and my my thing too is like I I have prepared material, everybody. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> you prepped. If, if what? you want to, right. of course. Right. If you <laughs> want to heckle me, that's really strange because I'm going to give you stuff that's way funnier <laughs> than whatever comes out of right. this.